What's up everybody? Hope you're having an amazing day and thank you for watching my videos. And today I'm going to bring you an updated video of when Saitama is going to hit one cent based on some really simple math. This is an update from a previous video I did where I did the calculation by burning 3 trillion coins per day, which was the average that we were burning. But now I have noticed we're burning more about like 5 trillion coins per day. So today I'm going to bring you that updated video. And if you want to know when Saitama is going to reach one cent, make sure to watch the whole video but before we get into the video consider subscribing as it really helps with the growth of this channel and give this video a thumbs up that way the youtube algorithm recommends more of these crypto videos to more people and we all end up winning because more people invest in the cryptocurrency so let's get into the math so i've been tr keeping track of saitama burn twitter and over the past 24 hours we've burned six trillion tokens now i've been seeing more and more tokens being burned daily um, I did the math before with 3 trillion, but now I'm going to do it with 5 trillion. So that's 2 trillion more. And you're going to really like the answer at the very end. Now, uh, here is some other numbers that we want to look at. Circulating supply tokens burned. We have more than half of the supply burned, which is really good news. Now, to get into the numbers, this is, these are the numbers we have to get. Okay, so the coin has to be worth 1 cent. It's circulating supply has to come down to a hundred trillion so we have to get to a hundred trillion saitama and this is where I, I get a lot of um hate we the market cap has to be one trillion now my my reasoning for that is that first of all did you know only 40 million people hold bitcoin in the world and out of those 40 million only less than a million wallets are actually active so we're still really early in the cryptocurrency world and the thing is saitama's burn rate is only going to keep increasing so it doesn't even have to reach this market cap as it could be lower so and this is another uh reasoning behind my one trillion market cap look at these numbers look how early bitcoin is bitcoin market cap cryptocurrency total market cap in the world uh, it's 2.59 trillion and look at all, all of these other assets that are um, first of all way way ahead of cryptocurrencies and the total market cap um, is that most people odds are your parents your grandparents they have investments in the stock market in the s p 500 a lot of companies they have 401ks that are based on the stock market right you you open a 401k with your the company you work at and they invest your money in the stock market well guess what there's really no one investing no company that has a 401k based on the cryptocurrency market so that's why my reasoning behind one trillion market cap for saitama on this video and I, i'm pretty I'm, I'm sure that's a reasonable reasonable number based on all these other factors so let's get into the math we have to get to 100 trillion saitama so this is the current circulating supply um let me see if i could zoom in so so you guys could see i'm oh, sorry about that this is a current circulating supply 43 quadrillion that big number we have to subtract 43 quadrillion to get below one quadrillion because there's a thousand trillions in one quadrillion so we subtracted 43 quadrillion that left us with 953 trillion now we're going to round this up to 954 trillion for the sakes of this math so the final answer is actually going to be sooner soon saitama is going to reach uh, one cent sooner because we just rounded up now we have to subtract 854 trillion from that number which gives us a hundred trillion ten one times ten to the 14 so now we know how many saitama we have to burn in order to get to a hundred trillion that is 43 quadrillion plus 854 trillion which gives us 4.3854 times 10 to the 16. now what is that number that is 43 quadrillion 854 trillion yes that's that number now the thing is we have to divide that by how many tokens we're burning per day so i did the math with 5 trillion and that gives us 8770.8 days this is the now we got the number now if you've watched some of my previous videos the first iteration of this um series where i show you the math behind saitama um this number was way higher and I, I think it was i'll show you i know the years but i don't know the exact days but if you divide that by 365 
That's 24 years for Zatama to reach one cent. Now this is a huge upgrade. A huge upgrade from the previous video. In the previous video I did the math with burning 3 trillion per day and it gave us 40 years. Um, but today I, I updated it because I noticed that we're burning a lot more and with Cytomass being released pretty soon we're going to burn way more and I did the math with 5 trillion so I went from 40 years burning 3 trillion per day to 24 years burning 5 trillion per day. So it, it, that, that number uh, changed dramatically and uh, it's only going to continue to keep going and uh, if you tell me you're, I'm going to be a millionaire in 24 years I'm willing to hold that long so I really hope you like this video guys what do you think um, did I do my math wrong tell me I really want to know I want, I want to hear your opinions but I'm pretty sure I did it right and um, make sure to watch uh, thank you for watching the whole video it really means a lot to me and uh, give this video a thumbs up and uh, thank you for watching to the very end I really appreciate it have a great rest of your day